Alexander Gerst has been on a long journey over the last nine years, from trainee astronaut to spaceflight veteran. A geophysicist and geologist, he was selected for his first mission one year after completing basic training with the European Astronaut Corps in 2010. To prepare for a long duration stay in orbit, he spent almost three years training with the station's partners in Russia, the United States, Japan, Canada and Europe. The Blue Dot mission began on May the 28th, 2014, when Alexander was launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, reaching the ISS just six hours later. Over the course of the next six months, Alexander carried out over 40 European experiments, as well as several international projects in disciplines including metallurgy, life sciences, fluid physics and biomedical research. It's such a unique laboratory whose conditions we cannot recreate nowhere on this planet. So we go out there to close those gaps, right? And with that, we can advance science down here on the ground. So we have our hands in the glove boxes. We perform experiments really like through the extended hands, eyes and ears of the scientists on the ground. And those are a lot of fun to perform, especially for me as a scientist myself. As flight engineer, he also shared responsibility for maintaining the space station and its operations. This included overseeing the docking of ESA's fifth and final automated transfer vehicle, which arrived in August, filled with supplies and experiments. In October, shortly before his return to Earth, Alexander was called upon to venture outside the station to make repairs and upgrades. This extravehicular activity, or EVA, lasted for over six hours. Having landed safely in November 2014, Alexander is now preparing to return to the ISS. It's a rare opportunity, and as before, he's keen to share the experience with the rest of us back on Earth. From a personal point of view, I'm looking forward to flying to space again. But also, having that privilege, I need to share it, right? Uh, I don't want to keep this to myself. I do have the responsibility uh, to bring back this perspective uh, as photos, as impressions, as feelings, and to tell people down here who so far don't have the chance yet to fly to space. To prepare for the upcoming flight, he's had to undergo another exhaustive international training program. Combined with his experience in orbit, it means that he's more than ready for his new role on board this unique outpost in space, as the first of ESA's class of 2009 to be assigned a second mission.